What's up, Star Wars fans? I'm Darth Clater from the Hills Maniacs, and today I'm going to be talking about some Star Wars characters that could appear in the Book of Boba Fett. Uh, so, we're two episodes into the Disney Plus series, The Book of Boba Fett, and uh, I wanted to talk about this because we've already had so many cameos, well, not so many, but we've, we've already had a couple cameos in The Book of Boba Fett, just in the first two episodes, um, some of which I recognized and some of which I didn't, um, but once I, you know, looked them up and did some research on them, I realized how big of an importance they were in the um in the overall franchise of star wars i'm looking at you black chrysanthemum um who i had no clue who it was uh but the, so i wanted to kind of make a list of some characters that could be on or around tatooine at the time that the book of boba fett is taking place and who may make an appearance for whatever reason uh in in this series whether it's a a big role or whether it's just kind of a cameo like Max Rebo um from the Cantina band in the originals now working at the sanctuary I believe it's called um so the first one I want to talk about and this is just to get it out of the way um Jar Jar Banks I don't think he's going to be in it but you never know he's technically still alive at this point I think so who knows they could put him in here george lucas is obsessed with jar jar so don't be surprised if you see some kind of appearance from jar jar banks i hope it doesn't happen and it's just on here as kind of an honorable mention uh because there is no no way that jar jar banks should ruin a series like this that would just be scumbaggery and they shouldn't do that for the book of boba fett when you have something this good going but I'll mention them just for for fanfare, I guess. Uh, the next group, or the next person or people I want to talk about is actually, I'm going to put two in here, well, technically three or four um, all together, and, and that's the people from the Mandalorian uh, TV show, uh, you know, Ahsoka, Luke, and uh, Mando, Din Djarin, um, and Grogu, or Baby Yoda. Uh, I think maybe Baby Yoda might make an appearance with one of them. Uh, we know he left with Luke at the end of Mando Season 2, so maybe Luke will come back to Tatooine uh, and run into Boba Fett, and Grogu will recognize Boba Fett. Um, or maybe Mando will come to Tatooine looking for help from Boba, or vice versa. Boba will go find or call to Mando to come help him battle against whoever this mysterious force is. It's probably the Huts um, trying to take back Jabba's land from Boba at this at this point. Uh, we know that the Huts are involved, so I wouldn't be surprised to see. Boba need to recruit people, and he might go with the Tuscans, uh, the group that found him after he came out of the Sarlacc and and uh, basically rescued him from from dying in the desert. Uh, and he'll probably, if he needs to, he can recruit Din Djarin, and I'm sure he'd come back to help if if Boba needed it. Uh, so I'm kind of gonna classify all of them together. And Ahsoka, we know she's out looking for uh, Thrawn right now, so. Maybe it'll take her back to Tatooine uh, for whatever reason and she can run into Boba Fett or maybe she'll need to ask Boba Fett something or to find somebody on Tatooine and thinks he would know about it. I don't know how they would play this in and I don't think they will because all of them have their own series. Uh, you know, they have the Ahsoka series coming and obviously the Mandalorian Season 3 where Grogu will probably be back with Din Djarin. I mean, not together, but they'll both be in the show. Next one I want to talk about, and I'll kind of group these two together too, is Watto and Sebulba, uh, both of whom we know are probably still alive at this point. Um, I know it's been years since we last saw Watto um, when, you know, he told Anakin that he sold his mother to Cleeg Lars, who then married her and stuff. Um, and so I would assume Watto would still be on Tatooine doing something if he's still there. So we might see him flying around. And Sebulba 
who knows? I mean, he could have gone back to Malastare. I I don't know what happened to uh, Sebulba, but I kind of put them together because they're they're both from the prequels that nobody likes talking about anyways, and they're not really like major characters that would impact anything uh, should they appear in the show. I think it would be cool to see characters from the prequel like that who are still somewhat relevant to Tatooine or in some way still, you know, in on Tatooine doing something that could be impactful on Boba Fett. What I want to talk about is Dr. Evazin, who was obviously in A New Hope He when Ponda Baba came up to Luke in Mos Eisley uh, in the cantina. Dr. Evazin was the one who said, he doesn't like you. I don't like you either. You know, th that was Dr. Evazin. And then he was again in Rogue One. They, they bumped into him on Jeddah. Uh, and I think it would just be a cool kind of uh, cameo to have Dr. Evazin because I don't think he died. I know Ponda Baba got his arm chopped off. Um, I don't think Dr. Avazin died, though, as far as I know. So, he could still be there. And this is not that long after Return of the Jedi. I know that's a long time from A New Hope. But still, um, he could still be on Tatooine. Who knows how long his species lives. So, he could, he could still be there. And I think just a cool kind of cameo in the Sanctuary uh, as somebody who kind of like Max Rebo, wasn't really important, but still a lot of people remember uh, for for that scene in A New Hope, and so I think it would be cool just to see him again running into Boba Fett, or even uh, Fennec Shand at some point, and, you know, just, just kind of saying something similar to that, saying, you know, like, oh, I don't like you, because uh, he's now uh, Daimo of the, of Tatooine, the ruler of the uh, crime syndicate, I guess, on Tatooine. Uh, or at least he wants to be, Boba Fett. Uh, the next one I want to talk about, and this has been theorized before, uh, and I want to talk about Maz Kanata, who it's been theorized that she could have been a Jawa at some point, uh, and if that's the case, then that's her reasoning for being on Tatooine. You know, because she, she seemed to know a lot about the Force and a lot about Luke and the Skywalker family. So, a lot of people were saying maybe she was there helping Obi-Wan on uh, Tatooine as a Jawa, you know, disguised to uh, basically watch over Luke without Luke knowing that, that she was watching over him. And uh, kind of like Obi-Wan, you know, he knew who Ben Kenobi was, but didn't know that he was... A Jedi Master and was looking out for him, basically protecting him this whole time. Uh, it would be kind of the same thing where Maz Kanata kind of hid out for a little bit uh, until she could go back to Takodana after Luke became a Jedi and she had to help Obi-Wan make sure that Luke became a Jedi so she had to do things like sell him R2 and C3PO. If she was working for them and she was one of the Jawas that kidnapped them, uh, maybe she knew that R2 and 3PO, you know, she knew who they were and knew that they had to get to, uh, to Luke, so she, she had the other droid, uh, R5, uh, P17, um, you know, have a bad motivator so that they, they could, uh, get R2 and 3PO together because they needed them as part of their journey, and she seems to know who R2 and 3PO are later on in the series, so she could be a Jawa on Tatooine. Not that we would probably know uh, if she did make an appearance, but I just think it would it would be cool. Even if they reference it maybe in, like, a Kenobi, uh, the Obi-Wan franchise that's coming to Disney+, Plus, um, you know, mention that he's working with a Jawa, and it could end up being Maz Kanata. I just think it would be cool. And the theory makes a lot of sense for why she knows so much. So, I, and, I mean, I'm, I agree with it, so, I'm putting her on this list, I doubt it's gonna happen, and even if it does, I doubt we would know that it was her, but, I still say it would be cool to see Maz Kanata as a Jawa. The next one I want to talk about, and we've seen other huts already in the, in the Book of Boba Fett, um, we saw two twins who were apparently the cousins of Jabba the Hutt, and they're coming, they, they're saying that they want his land because he was their family, and so he gets to, um, so that they get to run this place now because it's 
theirs, basically, is what they're saying. So, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some other huts that may still be alive. For example, and I don't know completely, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Jabba's son, Rada, is still alive. Um, at this point, or at least would be, because I don't think we ever hear of him getting killed. I don't know if he does in any of the comics, you know, the recent canon comics, at least like the Darth Vader comics and stuff. Um, but uh, from what I understand, because he survived the Clone Wars, so it, I would assume Jabba's son would still be alive somewhere out there. And he is canon. He was in a few episodes of the Clone Wars. Um, so I wouldn't put it past them to bring in another hut and say like this is the rightful heir to Jabba's throne uh and and try to get not just them to run it but to have Rada run it and somebody would then have to fight against Rada the hut who would now be you know obviously an adult uh but I think it would be cool to see because we haven't really heard of them since uh, the Clone Wars, and there was no mention of them, obviously, in the original trilogy, because it came out first, but even still, uh, there, you know, why bring him up in the Clone Wars at all if he's not going to have some kind of impact later on in the series, but then again, they, they did that with a lot of people, uh, so, I don't know, but I, I would personally really like to see, if, if he's still alive, to see Rod of the Hutt, uh, in in the franchise and you know talking of the Clone Wars we all know that Boba Fett is a clone of Jango Fett um, and in the Clone Wars we're introduced obviously to a lot of different clones all of whom have the DNA of um, Jango Fett and some of them have different abilities and of course I'm talking about everybody's favorite group of rogue clone troopers uh, in the Bad Batch and uh, it was a series on Disney Plus. They hinted at them a couple times in the actual Clone Wars series, and then they got their own series on Disney Plus. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if they come to Tatooine in search of this ruler who's uh, now a clone, basically, and is in charge of of the crime on Tatooine. Maybe they show up and work for him. Maybe they show up to work with him. And on that note, uh, because they now have Omega, who, if you haven't seen The Bad Batch, is a clone sister of uh, Django, Boba, all of them. Uh, they're all clones, but she is a female. Uh, and so she is the last clone of Django Fett, as far as I'm aware. Uh, and so she could come with them and we could see a live action version of um omega and uh speaking of clones why not bring in uh captain rex who will probably show up more in the ahsoka series if they were going to bring him to live action uh, that would make more sense considering he helped her out a lot throughout the clone wars and again in rebels was with her and then you know he's still alive he did fight in the battle of endor supposedly, uh, so he's still alive at this point, uh, and he's also a clone, obviously, so he could show up, Commander Cody, I don't know what happened to him, um, but he could show up at some point if he's still alive and fixed his inhibitor chip and is no longer evil, um, you know, but they're probably more likely to show up in the Ahsoka series rather than the, uh, Boba Fett series, but even still, uh, it, I wouldn't put it past them to, to bring them in now and then later on also introduce them in the Ahsoka series. Kind of like what they're doing with Black Chrysanthemum because people are theorizing that maybe he'll also be in the Kenobi series because he has this huge fight with Obi-Wan uh, you know, after he captures Owen Lars while Obi-Wan is, is in hiding on uh, Tatooine looking over the Skywalker you know, looking over Luke and, you know, trying to keep them in check. So, uh, they might have that battle scene in the Kenobi series. So, introducing Black Chrysanthemum now promotes that in a way. Uh, so, in order to, to maybe bring Rex and the Bad Batch to live action, do it in this, and then have them be with Ahsoka later on in the series, have them go off later on and meet Ahsoka, you know, in this series, whatever... Um, but I think it would be cool to see a uh, live-action version of Omega and the Bad Batch, all of whom would have to be played by uh, Tamara Morrison, obviously. 
but I, I think it would be cool. Um, the next one I want to talk about is Bosk, uh, a former bounty hunter. I know in the comics, I think, or in a book or something, he ends up retiring after Return of the Jedi, and uh, he's probably still on Tatooine. I mean, we've already seen some Ithorians on Tatooine, so we know they're still there. Um, and Bosk and Boba have a huge history together. I mean, he was with Boba Fett throughout the Clone Wars as a, when Boba was still a kid trying to track down Mace Windu uh, to get revenge for killing his father. And then, of course, he was again with Boba Fett in Empire when uh, Boba Fett and all these other bounty hunters were hired to track down the Millennium Falcon and Luke and Han and all of them. And uh, so to see Bosk, I think would be a, a great way to bring this back together. And if you're bringing back people that Boba's worked with in the past, like Black Chrysanthemum, who was hired by Vader alongside Boba Fett, uh, you know, it, it, it would make a lot of sense to have Bosk show up, either as a bad guy or maybe as an ally this time, uh, again, with Boba Fett, just like old times. And the last one I want to talk about, and I'm basing this off of uh, some other people's theories and off of a scene from the last episode of the book of Boba Fett where after the Hut twins leave, uh, Fennec Shand turns to Boba and says, you'll have to get permission if you want to kill them. You know, they're Hut, you'll have to get permission if you want to kill them. And so it brings up that question, who could she be talking about that you'd have to get permission for? Uh, because aren't the Huts supposed to be this like the big people on Tatooine, no offense, um, but uh, the, they, uh, they're they supposed to be like the, the main crime lords, who would you have to get permission from to kill them, uh, and it's been theorized that she was talking about Crimson Dawn, uh, which was the crime syndicate started by Darth Maul, and uh, his second in command became Kira from Solo, a Star Wars story. Uh, when she killed Driven Voss, and she took over the empire of uh, the Crimson Dawn after Darth Maul died at the hands of Kenobi on Tatooine. So, uh, to have Kira show up uh, in this isn't that far-fetched, I don't think. This could be, you know, because the Huts are part of this crime unit, uh, throughout the galaxy, and we know the Pikes are involved, and we saw them already in the uh, the Book of Boba Fett episode two. They were the main antagonists, if you will, of of this episode, and uh, we know they're involved. We know the Huts are involved. Both of those are big crime groups in the galaxy, so it it is highly likely that uh, there is some remnants of Crimson Dawn still intact, you know, they never really died off, and the, the crime industry is obviously still really big in the galaxy if Boba Fett's trying to take over Jabba's old role as leader of the Tatooine district of the crime syndicate, so uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, if they bring Kira or somebody from Crimson Dawn into this season of the Book of Boba Fett, and I kind of hope it happens, because then it makes the Solo more relevant, and uh, a lot of people don't like Solo for whatever reasons, but seeing the Pikes in this movie, you know, and mentioning Kessel, and that's, we saw that whole scene in, um, in Solo, where they go to Kessel and try to take the spice, uh, from Castle and prevent them from enslaving these people, and it's where, um, L3, I think the droid's name was, ends up dying, and her memory becomes the Millennium Falcon, and then Han does his classic Kessel run in 12 parsecs, um, so I think it would make the story a lot more interesting, too, if Kira is now the full person in charge of Crimson Dawn, which I'm sure she would be. And I think it would be great to see that, again, uh, that, that connection back to Solo, where now Boba has to fight against Crimson Dawn. And it has been rumored that uh, Harrison Ford, or at least Han Solo, may be voiced by Harrison Ford or something, kind of like they did with Luke in The Mandalorian, um, 
will appear in in the book of Boba Fett, so maybe that'll be what drags him in, you know, when he learns that Kira is back on Tatooine uh, to prevent things from happening, and his old love interest, you know, they used to be a thing, and uh, so to see him come back might indicate that she's coming back, and even not even if it's not in this series or this season of the series, I don't know if they're making a second one, but they keep calling this season one, so I would assume they're going to move on with another series of the Book of Boba Fett, but I guess it depends. Uh, so I I would love to see Kira at some point show back up, and we know Amelia Clark is already doing a Disney Plus show uh, when she's in Secret Invasion for Marvel, so. Who knows, maybe she'd be up for doing another one and reprising her role of Kira uh, in in the Star Wars universe and in the book of Boba Fett. So, anyways guys, there you go. That was my prediction for some Star Wars characters that could make a cameo appearance or an appearance of some sort uh, in the book of Boba Fett series. Some of these highly unlikely, while some of them seem to be a bit more uh, likely to happen as... The, the series goes on just based on what we've already got in the first two episodes so i hope you guys enjoyed and if you haven't watched the book of boba fett on disney plus definitely go check it out it's a great series for one of the greatest characters uh, in star wars boba fett is one of my favorites so definitely check it out if you haven't already stay tuned for what else we got going on on this channel make sure you like this video subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one may the force be with you Subscribe!